On today's show, we'll look at positive youth development taking place through the power of the arts. Also, children learning skills that can protect life and property. Thanks for joining us on Jamaica Magazine. I'm Adrian Atkinson. Sit back and relax for those and more to come. But first up, a recap of the week's top stories right after this message as we observe Child Month. We are children and we have rights. We have a right to be protected, provided for, and included. Don't beat me up, don't belittle me, and please don't molest me. I am under 13. I should not be working for a living. That is child labor. It is illegal. Stop leaving me alone. I am too young to provide for myself. I need your guidance. Protect our nation's children. They have rights too. To learn more about children's rights, call or visit the offices of the Child Development Agency. Hi there, I'm Simone Wolf with your JIS News of the Week. Signaling a strategic new direction that is focused on preventative health care, the ministry charged with this oversight was this week renamed the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Meanwhile, the Health and Wellness Minister made his sectoral debate presentation on Tuesday and announced a $31 billion expenditure on public health infrastructure development over the next five years. This, Mr. Speaker, will represent the largest investment in over 20 years in public health, and we are proud of it. He also announced a $1 billion expansion of the program to reduce waiting times in the public health sector. It is impatient of debate. Take a constituent with a hemorrhoid problem, hernia problem. It's not gonna kill them, but it, it places that citizen of this country in so much pain. There's downtime from work. Uh, take a, 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 a mother or a sister or a daughter with fibroids every month, excessive bleeding, missing work time, pain, suffering, Mr. Speaker, we would be an uncaring government if we did not find a way to respond. In other health news, residents of Black River and its environs are benefiting from upgrades to their health center. This event marks a milestone for many areas within the Ministry of Health. And in particular, it marks a milestone for the Reducing Waiting Times initiative and the Enhancing Emergency Medical Care Project that is funded by the Tourism Enhancement Fund. Patients and staff at the Maypen Hospital in Clarendon are meanwhile benefiting from an improved air-conditioned atmosphere after a $73 million energy-efficient cooling system was installed. This is joint of government at work, uh, one that we're very proud about, one that we're very happy for. Recovery and cure is not just about what the doctor prescribes. It's also about the therapeutic value of an environment that is conducive to the very practice of the clinicians and those who support the clinicians. National Workers' Week and Labor Day 2019 activities were launched this week with a focus on creating safe spaces for the nation's children. Five schools have been selected as National Labor Day projects. We know the creativity of the Jamaican people and we expect and welcome the many different ideas that will flow. As before, we encourage people to register their projects with the municipal corporations or with the Labor Day Secretariat in my ministry or on the GIS Labor Day portal. Parliamentarians voted this week to extend for 90 days the state of public emergency now in effect for St. James, Hanover and Westmoreland. The right to life is being threatened when you are at 183 per 100,000. The, the right to life is definitely now being threatened. So this statistic is of 183 is more 
than what you would compare, for example, with countries that are at war. So we, we really have a problem that we have to acknowledge. The Jamaica Defense Force has taken steps to have its Caribbean Military Academy achieve college status, as well as international and regional accreditation through the signing of a MOU with the University of the West Indies. Accreditation of our training will not only ensure that our members and other graduates have the highest standards of qualifications, but will ensure that when our soldiers are ready to join the civilian workforce anywhere in the world, they can do so with the confidence that the training that they have received and the certification will be readily accepted. Infirmaries across the country are now better equipped to sterilize their medical instruments as a dozen new autoclaves have been bought. Today we are going to present all our infirmaries with a brand new autoclave. And Robert Morgan was sworn in by Governor General Sir Patrick Allen as a government senator and parliamentary secretary. The Senate is not, not a simple appointment. It's a very significant thing um, for someone to have confidence that you can sit in the upper house and contribute to the legislative um, development of the country. I take this very seriously. Um, I commit to functioning with integrity. And those are some of the stories making news this week. I'm Simone Wolf. There are many fun activities for children to engage in at school through the many clubs and societies that exist. Here's one where the clubites are not just having fun, but also learning important skills to protect life and property. Watch this. Move to the right in threes. Right turn. Move to the left in threes. Squad will retire. Left turn. A ball time. This is not training for the cadet corps. There is a new co-curricular club in schools, the Fire Wardens Club. The Jamaica Fire Brigade has embarked on a new initiative. It involves children and is being implemented in schools across the country. The initiative is similar to that of many other school-based co-curricular programs. The only difference? This club reinforces the importance of disaster preparedness, management and restoration. The main aim is to reduce the country's susceptibility to significant damage from natural and man-made disasters. Ready? Down! Up! What to do if you close our fire? The program is now being implemented in schools across the country since its inception at institutions in St. Catherine in 2017. Welcome to Great and Longwood Primary School Fire Wardens Club. What do you feel when you feel an earthquake? Shaking. Things are shaking, yes. Things falling. Things falling, yes. And you are frightened too. When I showed you the video, yes. did you see where the road split? And you saw cars going down into the between the Yes. We initially started with a quiz competition that went on to the primary school. So we realized that we needed something a little more tangible where we can actually have the firewalls club in the school. The motto of the club is Preparing today for disasters tomorrow. We are preparing these students so that Whenever there's a disaster, they will be ready to help within the schools, home, and churches. So we would teach them to be ready when there's an earthquake, so they would know the, 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 the procedure, they would know the drill. We prepare them to help their schoolmates if somebody got injured and need to be moved from one place to the other. If there's a fire, we also taught them about the bucket brigade. They can 
get some water. You might have known that there are times when children are trapped, children are also burnt in fires. Now, if these children were taught and have some idea of what to do, the possibility that they could have helped themselves. Within the schools, a teacher is assigned to the club and for that purpose is given the title of a superintendent. Our students are very enthusiastic about the club and they get involved in many different activities as it pertains to knowing and disseminating information about disasters and disaster mitigation. One of the best agents for information are children and parents respond to children. So when the children know certain things about how to manage disasters, what are some of the right things to do, they can help to inform their parents, and in turn, the parents will inform the community members to respond. And in a community like Portmore, where there are so many potential disasters waiting to happen, it is important that Greater Portmore, at the schools in Greater Portmore, know about fire wardens club and become involved in it. Fire wardens clubites are also engaged in humanitarian activities, visiting children's and nursing homes. I just love how they do things. You have to do them proper and if you don't do them proper, sometimes you get kicked out of the club. The fire wardens club is very fun and I get to do drills like fire safety, earthquake, tsunamis and fire drill because it helps us to blow out fires. The fire warden club teach us to do a drill, teach us when you're to do, to what to do when your clothes is on fire. Stop, drop, cover your face and roof. It's a great club to join and I love it because you have fun and it's helping your community and schools to, to raise disaster awareness. If someone's house is being flooded out, I can help them by doing check, take them out of the house and take out the good stuff like the birth, like the birth papers and the passports. Loss of life and property as a result of natural and man-made disasters should be minimized as the Fire Wardens Club expands and more children get involved. Do you know what a disability is? A permanent loss of function in any part of your body is called a disability. Some people are born that way. Others get a disability because of an illness or an accident. This doesn't have to prevent you from living a full life. The Disabilities Act will protect your right to work, raise families, or do business like anyone else. Visit jcpdja.com. A message from the JCPD, an agency of the Ministry of Labor and Social Security. Just like how you want to invest, right? In the future, you, you save your money because you want to buy a house, you want to buy a car, whatever it is that you want to do, you invest your money. That's the same way you have to invest in your health now so that later on, you'll be able to see the rewards. So what makes up an investment in a healthy future? A balanced diet, regular exercise, and staying away from harmful drugs are some elements. A balanced diet helps prevent conditions such as obesity and reduces the risk of heart disease and other illnesses. A lot of emphasis on fruits and veggies. You guys know your fresh fruits, your apples, oranges, bananas, your vegetables, string beans, carrots, callaloo. You want to have a variety. I always think of colors. Colors are a good guide if you know nothing about nutrition. Whole grain and high fiber. The whole wheat bread is good, your whole wheat pasta, but I really want us to make our diet predominantly our ground food, breadfruit, yam, sweet potato, green banana, plantain. Also, our oily fish, such as sardines or salmon or tuna or mackerel. Those those are fantastic for our omega-3. Lean meats, that's our chicken, fish, pork. Our dairy, soy milk, regular cow's milk, either which one, you want to get your calcium, especially for the growing bones. Also, we want to reduce our sugars, that's mostly seen in our fruit juices or sodas. 
Once you've established what a balanced diet looks like, it's important to use the right portions. Half your bowl of vegetables. Look at the callaloo there and a quarter of your protein, that's your two eggs, and another quarter of your starch, that's your green banana. Or you can go down the bottom and nothing is wrong with having a little bit of healthy fat. Healthy fat is your avocado pear. Very, very, very good for you. It will help clear your arteries. You should be exercising three to four times per week just to maintain. If you want to improve your fitness level, you want to be an athlete, you need to be exercising at least four to five times per week consistently, all right, in order to maintain your health. A regular 30-minute exercise regime does not necessarily mean going to the gym. With just a chair, you can do a lot. Warm-up exercises, upper and lower body strengthening, abdominals, Imagine you're hearing the words of why you're walkless. You're a fool. You come like you're walkless, poop, all of these different things. How are you going to feel about yourself? You're going to feel bad. So most persons know is use drugs to feel better about themselves. But the sad truth about this is that the drug don't solve the problem. Smoking of cigarettes, one commonly used drug, is a contributor to several disorders and cancers. 92% of all oral cancer is caused from smoking tobacco. 82% of our lung cancer is caused from smoking tobacco. Yes, 80 plus chemicals inside of it contribute to gum disease. That's why the teeth change color or they drop out. Hookah, also known as water pipe tobacco, is no less dangerous. An hour long smoking session is equal to inhaling smoke from 100 to 200 cigarettes. When it comes to smoking marijuana or ganja, its effect on a teenager is different from an adult smoker. In addition to smoke causing damage to the lungs, it impacts the brain. Your brain is not yet fully developed. Where the box is, that part of the brain controls the executive function of the body. We in risk, consequent, thinking, all of this. How much you know have a friend right now and they must smoke weed? And like they can't reason properly. It's like your friend a change. How much person knows somebody know why smoke weed? And it's like they get ignorant easy. Research shows that frequent smoking of ganja from the teenage years into adulthood leads to a significant decline in IQ levels. The dangers of smoking ganja are heightened when unknowingly combined with other ingredients. Most of you get your weed from your friend, them, right? You don't know where your friend them or the, the, or the shop or anybody or the dealer will give you. Because if somebody wants to mash up your life, all of them have to put a lizard tail in it and it's done. Or they mix it with cocaine, and it's done. So you don't know where you are smoke. So that's why I said every time you smoke, it's like a gambler risk. Then there is graba, a deadly mix of ganja with tobacco and sometimes with other ingredients. When it comes to the red herring graba and the red rose, that's what they call it, hot graba, because those are the ones with chemicals. How they make the red herring graba is simple this way. Graba is tobacco leaf. So what they do is mix the tobacco leaf with the red herring fish. They wrap it up and they dip the tobacco in the water and let it dry. So when you're smoking that now, you're smoking chemicals from fish, tobacco and ganja. So maintain a healthy diet, exercise regularly and stay away from drugs. These should help you reap healthy rewards later in life. If you need help in maintaining a healthy lifestyle, contact the National Council on Drug Abuse at 926-9002-4 or the Jamaica Cancer Society at 927-4265. Art forms such as music and drumming can translate experiences that instill values and change people's opinion on all manner of things. It's an important tool that's being used to empower our youth to develop positive social skills and academic prowess. We learn more in this feature. Mr. Music Man, tell me a story now. What kind of story do I hear? The kind of story that speaks about how realities are being redefined. 
the kind of story that uses the creative magic of music as the tool to cultivate positive behavior and attitudes while simultaneously developing entrepreneurial skills. A story that calls to all Jamaicans using the familiarity of sound, rhythm, and movement. The story written by Thiwi Jamaica. The Thiwi Jamaica project began in 2015 with the aim of empowering women and girls and other vulnerable groups dealing with human trafficking, domestic and intimate partner violence, among other issues, through various social and economic intervention programs. The project had seven activities to deepen our understanding of tolerance. A very significant part of our project was um, activity three, creating the space for change and transformation through music and culture. The interventions implemented under Activity 3 included St. James Gender-Based Violence Music Initiative, including Drums for Life, Masters in Residence Global Competitiveness Training Program, Girls Using Ubuntu Respect and Love for Entrepreneurial Success Girls, Songwriting Competition, Downtown Music Theatre Summer Camp, and Women Healing in Music. The drum has been the heartbeat of traditional African societies. It was used as the instrument to celebrate various aspects of life. Through Fiwi Jamaica, the drum became a medium of transformation for the youths engaged in the St. James Gender-Based Violence Music Initiative. The project involves the teaching of hand drumming by the Trelawney Maroons to students in selected communities in and around Manchuka Bay. We also included teaching of traditional and popular dance and also spoken word as aspects of the Drums for Life program to make it a little bit more inclusive. Throughout the 12 weeks, we ensured that the students understood that the, they were able to consider a career from playing drums. Progress, Mr. Minana, time to look back. My education is key. From poverty, it's a go set me free. Time to waste no minna of that. It has helped me being more focused in my schoolwork and being particular with my friends. Master drummers also engaged the participants through mentorship. It kind of saved me out of trouble. And all my, my teenage, tender age, yeah, was all about focusing on music. I was so occupied. I didn't have time to get involved in anything else. My world, you know, every day I get up, you know, what else new, what song we'll learn today. So it was a, a drive that keep me occupied. And, and so I never get involved in anything else other than music and dreaming big, you know. The practice of mentorship also filtered into the Masters in Residence MIR Global Competitiveness Training Program. The intervention also adopted the coaching and entrepreneurship strategies of Jamaica's successful track and field enterprise. The MIR program became a creative hub for songwriters, performers, technicians and managers. We wanted to, to, to present an option, uh, a blueprint that was set to young, young producers and young artists and things. You don't necessarily have to go that way. You know? We have massage uh, <laughs> template into, in, into place that we can say to people, here is, here is a way to train performers, here is a way to train songwriters, here are some things that you can introduce people to who are interested in management. That template produced a class with over 40 graduates, equipped with the skills to share the Jamaican creative experience on the international stage. It is much more than talent. That is only half of it, and that is exactly what the program brought to light. And it helps me to better myself as a performer, as a songwriter. I got exposed to the knowledge of engineering and marketing as well, so I can market myself as an artist. The female entrepreneurs in the MIR program, through the creation of Girls in Music, responded to the challenge as to how to enable women in the music industry. The overarching objective of Girls is to assist and empower female entrepreneurs in various industries and disciplines to achieve their goals by providing funding, mentorship, educational and entrepreneurial services, as well as other related activities. We have witnessed the ideas of various members come to fruition. 
These include two successful plays, Living Dangerously and Forbidden Fruit. The theme song for the Tambourine Army's march against abuse of both women and men with the deeply impactful and sobering anthem, Now Make Them Win. You are a part of the unveiling of an all-female-led album, Big Woman Things. Songwriters and lyricists were also provided with a creative space to speak of universal concerns through the songwriting competition. A total of 183 entries were submitted at the close of the 2017 staging. Contestants were required to compose lyrics to a partially completed song entitled, You Deserve to Be Loved. Their advice was to talk about it from the pastor perspective rather than, you know, say, you see him beat her, you, see, you know, say, I just say, as a pastor, I would encourage you, I should encourage you to stay, because the first rule of a pastor is never to tell a, a husband and a wife to separate. My mother tell me that early, no matter what. But I just decided to say right away that now I'm no sin. I should encourage you to stay, but dear sister, sister, I can't encourage you to do that today. Safety has to be a first priority. Don't tell me say him love me because him, him beat me because him love me. Because love don't beat or easily get angry. You know, love is patient, love is kind, as the Bible will remind. Love supposed to bless you, not disrespect you. The philosophical underpinning of the entire project was our embrace of the South African concept of Ubuntu. I am because you are, you are because I am. And that became an important theme in the project that we not only shaped in song and music, but we delivered in much of the interventions that we've had. We wanted to empower Jamaicans to recognize that we have a responsibility for Jamaica. Jamaica belongs to all away. It's Fui Jamaica, and that means we have a responsibility to ensure that Jamaica can grow and prosper and we can achieve the visions that we've created for ourselves in Vision 2030. This is where we close the curtains on our Jamaica Magazine show for today. Do join us again tomorrow and we'll do this all over again. Until then, you can watch these and other programs by logging on to our website, jis.gov.jm, or subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can also find us on all social media platforms. On behalf of the entire production crew, I'm Adrian Atkinson. Thanks for watching. This has been a production of the Jamaica Information Service, the voice of Jamaica.